Well, here it is. I made it to Columbus, Ohio to this really nice suite. Um, so, got my TV set up there. Coffee I'm not going to drink. Um, fridge I'm probably not going to use. Except for a couple things, whatever. Um, I already got my little media area set up, so I will be keeping everybody up to date as much as I can with what's going on. Um, yeah, so there you go. Here's my schedule for everything that is for the whole weekend, everything that's going on. And then my bedroom, which is sweet. Nutribolics hooked it up. Thank you, Nutribolics. Thank you, Rodney and Jason. Appreciate it. Um, here's my little area here. TV. Cool. Um, I'm comfy in this, that's for sure. Then here's the bathroom. I'm feeling real dry right now. Um, like super duper dry, which is kind of cool. I'll put a little post up a little bit more later, but a uh, little bathroom, little area there, and yeah, that's it, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And um, if you haven't yet got one of these, this thing kept me organized. How my meals and whatnot in there. I got a story. Actually, I had a pretty long day, but I'll tell you a story after a minute. You know, I got everything in here, and then basically all my, my computer and stuff was sitting there with all my uh, itinerary and all that stuff there, so. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so I made it to Columbus, Ohio. Um, here's how my day went. Um, and I'm going to take full responsibility for some of the stupid actions, and I'm going to blame some of that just on a lack of nutrition mainly carbs um, so I get to the airport and I brought a six pack and I remember um, posting up how I got a new six pack and then Fu I was saying basically don't bring your um, uh, ice packs with it so you know pack it separately so me being the uh, level headed guy that I am I totally forgot so anyway I end up going through customs with it and then they're like you can't bring this and I'm like well I asked the lady before and she said it's okay and like no you can't I'm like oh, okay so I'm like is there any way I could put this back on to you know my uh, carry under and they're like um no and I'm like okay so what can I do it's like is there any way I can maybe like put it in like a locker and tell you back so long story short um I went and asked the uh, lady again and she said you can Ask the lady if she can take your bag off because it was pretty early still and repack it. So I'm like, sweet. So I take my uh, um, my six pack, you know, gel pack thingies and I give it to her and she's like, I'll do it for you. I'm like, thanks so much. Cool. So I have to bring my stuff back to customs again. And then uh, I'm sitting in the um, waiting area. And then here comes the same lady. She says, uh, um, well, the thing is, I can't really put the gel packs back in by myself due to certain you know security blah 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 so you have to come with me and do it so I'm like okay so I'm thinking to myself like this is awesome because I get to do what I want not really do what I want but like I'm kind of getting a favor done for me but then I'm thinking the travel gods are not really happy with me since I'm getting my own way so I'm pretty sure this is this is like the start of like unfortunate events so Anyway, long story short, she goes and grabs me. I go up, get my luggage. We talk, connect, blah, blah, blah. She's telling me about another bodybuilder that came through with a hurt ankle. I'm like, who's that? I'm like, it's Santana. I'm like, oh my God, Santana's down there too, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I get my stuff and I get my six pack gel thingies and I put them into my luggage. They redo my luggage back, put it through customs, and put it on the plane, and then boom, I'm off to New New York, Nork whatever so anyway I'm on the plane I'm on this plane that's like I'm like this in this in this plane like I feel like I'm a sardine and I'm talking to a guy and he's like are you gonna make it in time I'm like what do you mean he's like well it's kind of kind of close because you know we delayed our plane was delayed and 
um, the plane that's in front of you that's going to Columbus might be uh, might leave without you. I'm like, I'm like, how is that even? How is that even fair? It's not my fault that you guys are late. So I'm like, here we go. So um, I get off the plane. He tells me all these directions. These directions are going through my head. Like I can't hold any little bit of knowledge that they're trying to tell me. So I'm like, okay. So I'm just gonna wing it and get out of here. So. I ended up running off the airplane, getting my stuff, um, jumping on the back of this like little uh, golf cart thing, and he drives me down to the uh, to my gate. I get there, and as soon as I get there, I see this this group of Italians. It says you know IFBB Italian on it, so I'm like, oh shoot, I'm like sweet. So I'm like, uh, I'm kind of early, so I, right away, like a little kid, I go in, I go into my uh, six pack, which can carry everything, and I go and I get my Canadian jacket, I go to the bathroom. And I changed it, I put it on, I'll proud like, yeah, I got my jacket on now. And so uh, we get on the plane together, and um, I end up talking to this guy, his name's Luca. And he's a pretty big uh, photographer in Italy, he does a lot of work with a lot of the pros and stuff. And we're talking, and I started showing him my YouTube videos, and we were like connecting and stuff, it was pretty cool. And then we get off the plane, and then, uh, you know, everything's all good. We're on Columbus, the trip went by quick, because I got to talk to somebody, and then I get to the airport. And lo and behold, whose luggage is not there? This guy's luggage. So I'm like, ah, oh, great. My fault. Because the first thing I did was like, yeah, your fault. If you didn't bring the stupid gel pack and put it in the thing in the first place, none of this would have happened. So uh, another long story short, um, basically they're going to bring my luggage to my hotel and drop it to me tonight because it's only an hour below, like an hour behind anyone on the plane previous so that was my day um, I cut water already if you can see me I'm freaking dry as hell right now it's pretty cool um, if you're wondering why I don't have a shirt on it's because I'm trying to be super sexy no really though I'm, I was on the plane two planes and soaking wet eating dry chicken and I'm kind of feel real filthy so I kind of want to get in here and just take it all off and then just you know I have pants on though so don't worry about that but um here I am first day uh Greg gets in tomorrow um and uh that's it man this is the start of the week it's gonna be pretty cool uh that's all I gotta say I'm excited and I can't wait to carve up tomorrow cause this is just getting ridiculous anyway Johnny Shreve Nutribolic sponsored athlete if you don't already know, I'm going to take a nap until my luggage gets here, and then I'm going to change because I feel absolutely disgusting. Peace.